Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Carl D'Souza. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Power Platform TV. So today we're going to take a look at the related tab and how to uh, basically turn it off. So if you're on a form, um, in this case I am on the leads form, and what we see here is we see these tabs um, going across the top here. And the first three tabs are tabs that um, have been created. So if you went into the form designer, you would see these tabs. And the final one here is called related. And if you click on this, um, it's different from the other tabs. What happens is that it uh, shows this drop down menu of the related entities. And um, from here, a user could potentially click on, for example, marketing lists here, and it will display this uh, as a tab, and then it'll show the associated view um, of any records here related to this lead, right? And you can go ahead and uh, select multiples of these. You know, if you selected activities, for example, um, then it would go ahead and um, display activities up here and uh, just kind of keep uh, displaying the, um, the related uh, entity that you selected as a tab, okay? So what if you wanted to turn this off so that the users would not see this, okay? Um, so it's a very simple setting, and let's go and see how to do this. So uh, for the lead entity, let's go over to uh, make.powerapps.com and uh, ensure that you have your correct environment selected in the top right, and then click on Entities under Data. And we're gonna go and find uh, our lead entity, and um, we will uh, make an adjustment to that one. So um, up here I have the default view. I'm just gonna go ahead and click uh, All here um, so that we can see all of these. And then I'm just gonna go and search for Lead, and we have Lead. Uh, I'm going to click on this and we'll wait for the fields to load and then we will click on forms and um, so we are doing this uh, per form basically so um, I want to do this for the lead main form so I'm going to go and edit this form and the form designer loads and um, at this point, what I'm going to do is switch over to Classic, and we'll be able to set that property. So we are now in Classic, and if I go over to Form Properties, um, and then I click on Display here. So uh, Show Navigation Options. So uh, this checkbox um, is the one that drives this behavior. So if I uncheck this and click OK and then let's just go and save and publish this form um, we'll take a look and see what happens so that's saved let's hit publish all right that's done so now let's jump back over to our lead form and we will just hit F5 to refresh this and what we should see is no related tab so let's wait for this to load and you can see that um, the tab has disappeared. So uh, that's it. That's all you need to do to get rid of that tab. Um, if you want to go back in and check the checkbox, it'll, it'll reappear and you can um, keep using it as normal. Thanks so much. Hope you enjoyed. So that's it, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, check out my blog at caldasusa.com. Thank you.